Just your daily reminder that subscribing to me is free, it doesn't cost you anything, the earth still evolves around the sun, and Isaiah Miranda is still natural. I hereby retire from Isaiah Miranda slander. That dude is so far deep in his hole, he's mining past bedrock, and I just have to leave the man alone. Uh, you can't kick a man who's already so far down. I honestly feel bad for the dude. I feel like he's just so deep in his own lie that, like, <laughs> there's no going back from here. So, yeah, just, I, I, yeah, I feel bad for him. That's, like, all I have to say. I feel bad for how stupid he is. All right, you guys have been highly requesting this new Tinder video because the first two did really well, and I'll be honest, the last time I used Tinder was on New Year's Eve. I was at Temple just scrolling through all the Philly chicks, uh, shot a couple of shots. Sad to say I spent New Year's Eve alone, but luckily the boys were there to give me my first kiss of 2021. I'm swinging for the fences today with top tier elite pickup lines because you know why? I do not have girls at home. Because I already said in that one video that I do not like girls from my high school. Do you know why? Because the same girls who used to ask me to do their homework for them, now they want to do my homework, and I'm not giving them the satisfaction. Because if they didn't like me when I was the nerdy kid, and I didn't have any muscle, and I couldn't talk to them without like shitting my pants, uh, then they don't deserve me at my best. They don't deserve me when I'm striving, when I'm better than them, when I'm more successful than them. They don't deserve me. If any of you boys need some girl motivation, the one thing that I can say for you guys is know your worth. Like, don't, like, put them on a pedestal over you. Like, uh, it's, it's mutual. They want you as much as you want them. But don't show them how much you want them or they won't show you how much they want you, if that makes any sense. Alright, let's eat some breakfast and get to swiping. Okay, for breakfast, we got some 93.7 ground beef. Over three pieces of bread with three pieces of highly processed fat-free cheese, but we don't mind processed foods because, you know, you gotta trust the process. It's not processed foods that are bad with all, like, the zero-calorie chemicals that you can't pronounce, but what is bad is the refined processed foods. Like, people will say bad stuff about, like, healthy processed foods, like, oh, chemicals, but what the fuck's more chemically processed than an Oreo? Like, cheese, obviously, like, it comes from a cow. But, like, an Oreo, like, where the fuck will you find an Oreo just lying around in nature? The hunter-gatherers, the freaking Greek gods, like, they're not, like, walking around Rome looking for food and, oh, look, an, a wild Oreo. Like, come on, just eat normal. I'm as excited as you are for today's Tinder video. I'll be honest, the last time I got my nut in was the weekend before Thanksgiving. And if you're watching this, you gotta train harder than last time. That was a poor performance. More time under tension, higher intensity, like, come on, man. Bro's gotta do better. All right, one of the New Year's Eve biddies actually messaged me first. She said, I don't fuck with math, but the only number I do fuck with is yours. I don't fuck with anatomy, but I can rearrange yours. Okay, this girl said, yes, I ride horses. Don't ask me what else I ride. You're not original. And you guys probably don't know this, but my parents actually train racehorses for a living. That's why I have access to so many chemicals. <clears throat> my parents train thoroughbreds for a living. How much EQ do you think it'll take to get as jacked as their horses? If you guys don't know what EQ is, it's pretty much like the horse steroid, and uh, don't take it. It's for humans. It's actually pretty shitty. Uh, so yeah, don't don't take EQ. This girl's bio says, "I bet my pickup lines are better than yours," and she looks like she's about six foot nine. That or she just has a really short mirror. Either you're seven foot nine, or that's a tiny mirror, but it doesn't change the fact that I'm six foot three. 6'3 is like the greatest thing that ever happened to me and I would say I'm thankful for my parents but not a single person in my family is over six foot. This girl goes to Penn State and she's an absolute smoke so I'm just gonna ask her what sorority she's in. Alright pre-workout I got a scoop of blood rush. 
Actually, wait, let me look at these ingredients. I might take two scoops. It's time to talk one-on-one -on -one with everyone here. Yeah, this only has four grams of citrulline, so. This is the revolution. I feel like my pump is maxed out at around eight grams of citrulline, so I'm gonna take eight grams. You're fucking up yourself, cunt. It's a fucking act. There is no disease. Yeah, you're a fucking sick cunt if you wanna be, bro. Stop being a fucking sad cunt, all right? Go out, get bitches, but be a fucking sick cunt like that. All right, down that pre-workout, and for today's pre-workout motivation, I get a lot of DMs. Well, not a lot anymore, but like, once in a while I'll get a DM saying like, oh, I'm heartbroken over a girl, how do you have motivation to get over this girl, or like, anything about girls and you just being sad. I used to be that guy, like, literally crying physical tears in my bed over a girl who didn't like me, and, that's probably like the saddest thing that you can do. And I'm gonna tell you like how my philosophy changed and why I will never be in that position again. So I'll be honest, like right now there's a girl who I like, but I do not like her nearly as much as I fucking love myself. Like the second that you start putting girls on a pedestal over you or like, you make them an essential part of your life that like you can't live without, that's when you start getting heartbroken. Cause the only essential person in your life should be you. Everyone else, like obviously like you have your best friends, you have like maybe your girlfriend or your wife or whatever, uh, your parents, um, you can live without any of them. Obviously it would take a toll on you, but you should be able to live your life the way that you wanna live it with just you. And everyone else is just fickle. Uh, is that the word? Fuck, I haven't like been English in a while. Yeah, f that means like ever changing, I think. Um, anyways, moving on. Yeah, so as long as you make yourself the most important person in your life, I think that you can get over any girl and never be in that position again where you're crying in your bed like not wanting to work out not wanting to eat or whatever just you're more important than any girl that's all i'm gonna say and i'm pumped because it is shoulder day and my shoulders have been looking insane recently and i literally got a massive shoulder pump on chest day so imagine what it's gonna look like today when i'm doing shoulders i'm hyped Let's have an amazing lift, boys! Yeah. Yeah. 
let's go boys that was the best shoulder work i've had in my life we hit a pr that was my first time going for 75s on shoulder press because like i was warming up on shoulder press and i was i usually start with the 40s and go to 50s and the highest i'll usually go is either 60s or 65s and the 40s just felt like literally nothing it was like it was almost hard to push them for reps because it was so light that like I was pushing like faster than gravity. I, I don't even know if I've ever put up 70s on shoulder press before, but I put up 75s. Honestly, if I had a spot, I might have been able to get like 8 to 10 reps, but you guys saw how much tension there was in that first rep because the thing is with shoulder press, getting it over your head is the hardest part. And then, like, the actual reps are easier because you have a little bit of momentum coming down and you're more balanced. But coming from that dead starting position to pushing you over your head is the hardest part. So you guys should ask for a spot if you're going for a shoulder press PR. I probably should have asked for a spot, but I don't know. My ego is too big and all the weight was so light that I just felt like I could push 75s. And I said this two videos ago when I was hitting chest, but... I am gaining muscle and the fact that I'm gaining strength too because like I'm not focused on training for strength and I used to not think that there is a difference between training for strength and training for aesthetics but let me tell you guys there is so the way that I've been training recently instead of just focusing on pushing weight which is what I used to do the way I've been training recently is focusing on pushing like my muscles so instead of just like pushing weight, I'm really focusing on the contractions. Like when I'm doing shoulder press, I'm thinking like, all right, my lateral delt is in the most stretched position. So it's time to go back up and get that full stretch and come back down until I feel like it is in its most contracted position. Go back up and get that stretch. And when I'm doing lateral raises, focus on isolating the medial delt. So that's pretty much the way that I'm training recently. And I'm 10 pounds lighter than I was in October. Uh, and I'm stronger than that. So just I'm just so proud of myself. I'll be honest, I'm proud of myself that I'm really like uh, putting in work in the gym now and uh, switching up my training kind of mindset and philosophy is really like paying off. So yeah, just wanted to, like, toot my own horn, blow my own cock a little bit. Uh, see you guys at home. All right, back home from the gym, and still no replies from any of the Tinder biddies, so that's disappointing. But I'm making my post-workout meal some chicken and potatoes. I'm not sure if I'm going to do sweet potatoes or regular potato yet. Probably sweet potato. Um, So that's going to be my post-workout meal. But to pull biddies... You gotta think like a bitty, and to think like a bitty, you gotta eat like a bitty. So after this, we're gonna go to the store and get some supplies, and I'm going to be making Greg Doucette's protein donuts from his new cookbook. This channel is slowly turning into the Greg Doucette new cookbook review, but it is what it is. If you guys don't like it, then get the fuck out. All right, it's been a couple hours, and we're ready to make some protein donuts, some banana chocolate protein donuts. I don't have an apron, but we have to be chef-esque if we're gonna make these donuts correctly, so I threw on a Young LA Stringer, code Ben Dom for 15% off. Before we start cooking, I did get another Tinder reply. It was from the really tall chick. She said she's eight foot one, but I usually don't go for guys who are shorter than me. And I don't go for girls who discriminate against height. Jesus Christ. So, let's make these goddamn cookies. Not cookies, let's make these goddamn donuts. God damn it. First call of action is to preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which I will do right now. And as the oven is heating up, let's blend these ingredients. Add the banana and yogurt in a blender and blend till smooth. So it said 125 grams of regular, like, plain Greek non-fat yogurt. But since it's banana, uh, I used a banana, I'm going to use a banana cream Dan and Lighten Fit because I feel like that will just make it more banana-y. Banana-esque. Banana-like. Banana-flavored. And with the banana cream yogurt, 220 grams of banana, which I will chop up. 
double fisting, double bananas. Call me Riley Reed. Because I read your mind. But you shouldn't know who Riley Reed is because no fab. You know what? I have a really garbage blender, so I'm going to add the egg whites in first. It calls for 180 grams of egg whites. I'm going to add the egg whites in first because when you have this stuff with like the prongs at the bottom, like Greg probably has like a real food processor, but the stuff with the prongs at the bottom, if you don't add the liquid in first, all the shit gets stuck on the prongs and then you lose a ton of stuff, so I'm adding the egg whites in first. And the bananas. Can I chop them up in smaller pieces so it's less sus? Even though we do indeed have our socks on. Uh, it's so messy. So big. Just another reminder, we do have our socks on, see? I don't even know if you saw my socks, but trust me, bro, I do have my socks on. Is this gonna be 220 grams, or are we gonna have to throw in a third banana? 210 grams, but there were 10 extra grams of uh, yogurt, so I think it should be decent. Okay, 132 grams of chocolate protein powder, five grams of baking soda, four grams of baking powder, and five grams of vanilla extract. Just realized I forgot the most important ingredient, the flour. Now all the ingredients are there and we can actually blend it. I might just stir this. Might have to big dick this blend. Yeah. Man versus machine right here. Gonna spray the donut pan with cooking spray. Make sure that shit does not stick. Add the ingredients. And it's time to bake this for 10 minutes. It's like not straight. I never bake, so don't judge me. <sighs> While I'm waiting for the donuts to bake, I'm gonna eat the rest of the batter because this stuff tastes good. Mm. If the donuts taste like half as good as the batter, then they're gonna slap. Okay, we're closing on the halfway mark, and let me show you guys what they're looking like, because I might have messed up, and obviously that's not a surprise, because I'm not the smartest guy in the kitchen. I might be the smartest guy in the classroom, but in the kitchen, nah, I, I didn't pass middle school FCS class. So the direction said to fill the donut pan to like halfway to three quarters, and I said fuck it and filled it all the way, because YOLO. And this is what they're looking like. I mean, they're kind the one on this this fat fucker, this one's starting to rise a lot, but the others are looking pretty solid. I think I think they should be good. Alright, it's ready to take these bad boys out of the oven. See how much we messed this recipe up. Alright, I thought I broke my camera for a second, because like an idiot, I had it mounted on the microwave, and I opened the microwave, and yeah, the camera fell, obviously, because it was freaking on the microwave. Anyways, this is what the donuts are looking like right now. There's supposed to be a hole in the center, but I filled it too much, so uh, I'm going to let them sit for a minute, and then I'm going to take them out. Hopefully they slide out easily, and they're not mad stuck to it. All right, we did not mess up the donuts, really. Without further ado, let's get a taste test. Yo, it's gooey on the inside. Mmm. I expect it to be, like, spongy. Nah, these are amazing. The whole thing, all six donuts, which I'm gonna eat them all, including the extra batter, is 1,100 calories and a lot of protein. Like over 100 grams of protein, so 
I'm gonna eat these donuts. And at the time of me uploading the video, I'm gonna go to the gym and do some more cardio. Because uh, I, I forgot to do cardio this morning. And while I'm on the Stairmaster, I will be replying to comments. So drop comment for the algorithm. And I might get to you. Oh, uh, one more thing. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Literally gained like 3K from Coach Greg yesterday. And we're about to hit 40K. It's right around the corner. It's absolutely insane. You guys are showing so much support. Could not thank you guys more. Now for the actual Peace Boys.